If you're trying to find an unprogrammed device on the network system, here's some steps that you can take. You want to record the address of that unprogrammed device because some programmers will write a rule that if there is an unprogrammed device and it actually goes into alarm to actually activate all the outputs. But this is how you can do it. You want to connect directly to the loop controller and you want to upload that in a serial step. You don't want to connect over the network. Once you upload that map, you will then look for that address. You can either search for it, select device address, put the address in, and it'll take you straight to that device once you locate it on a tree you want to look at the devices that are around it especially if it's t-tap you have a device above it below it to the left and to the right of it you record the addresses and you record the serial numbers so that way you can go back to the objects labels look for those addresses and find the messages once you find the messages you'll know at least what area you have to go to then you start from the first one disconnect the wire and then trace that wire to the point and if you find it that the unprogrammed device is at that wire then you found the problem if not you just repeat it at all the other branches until you find that unprogrammed device. So that's a real simple way for you to find an unprogrammed device. But if you definitely want to learn how to get better at fire alarm, join the training center. We're going to have nice set courses, programming. And if you want to get your fire alarm license or even transform to be a tech to a CEO, I'm here to show you how to do all that. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.